August 30th, crypto holders disproportionately favor Trump for US president. September 4th, inside Trump's crypto project linked to a 2 million DeFi hack and former pickup artist. Also September 4th, which is today, Trump family members hacked to promote apparent crypto scam. It seems that Coindesk do not like Trump. Who owns Coindesk? Tom Farley is the president or the CEO. Let, let's jump into Tom Farley. Okay, Global Blue Group Holding. Who owns them? Well, Gold Blue announces a $100 million strategic equity investment from Tencent. Tencent is owned by China. China do not want Trump to win. Trump winning is bad for China. Therefore, Coindesk, trash. Welcome back. Let's look at the whole crypto markets right here, right now. We can see it's a sea of red, okay? It's bearish. It's bearish. If we're looking at the fear and greed, actually pretty bullish here. We've been uh, we've been below 30 for quite some time now, uh, which is typically a, a sign that we could potentially get a short squeeze. So uh, fairly bullish, I would say. If we're looking at ETFs here, we're seeing probably the biggest outflow of ETFs uh, in like four months here, uh, 287 million. All right, FBTC leading that charge with 162 outflows. Okay, let's see how it does this week, but not looking good, very bearish on the outflows of the ETFs. If we are looking at the production cost bottom line, this is roughly where we're looking for Bitcoin to bottom. This is the maximum low that we can get to according to this chart, right? You can see here every single time. Yes, this is the area that Bitcoin holds at. Where is that number? That number is $43,100. Okay, so watch out if we do start crashing. That's the area where I am going to be buying with everything. I'm going to be selling everything. I'm going to be buying with everything and that is going to make a lot of money. If we are looking at uh, electricity consumption index here, we can see here, this is just the money a Bitcoin miners are spending on electricity. And we can see here that yes, uh, it is sloping towards the upside, which is a bullish sign, okay? It's a very bullish sign. If we scroll out here, if we zoom out, we can see uh, that typically this is just directly correlated with Bitcoin, right? So when this does on the, the wider time frames here, when this does start banging it towards the upside, that is a massively bullish sign and that is a sign to buy, okay? If we are looking at the liquidation heat map, we can see here another disgusting dump yesterday. And uh, yes, this could basically random walk all of today. I am expecting a bit of up first, but if we do want to break down below this low, as we'll get to with the charts in a minute, uh, there will be some beautiful shorting opportunities because there's not much liquidity down here. This could literally just bang it down to the next level very, very easily. We just put out the free signals on Patreon. Be sure to follow it. It's completely free. Just sign in with Google, press follow. Very, very simple, okay? Free signals. Just do it. It's it's all the trades I look for every single day, okay? Uh, besides that, yeah, if you want to check out the paid one as well, it's 10 bucks a month. All right, long term for Bitcoin. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We can see that we are playing out a measure move right now, okay? The measure move is down to about 54.2, uh, 54.3. Okay, uh, this this is a, a weird one, right? Because we can actually draw this measure move in uh, to the point where it's basically nearly completed. Okay, if we do start from the top of this uh, wave, right? Uh, but I'm going down from the breakdown point here, which is here, uh, and that is down to, as I said, 54.3. So uh, yeah, it's also based on this beautiful wedge structure that we can see here. Not fantastic with this low coming in, but enough to confirm it. And then the measure move is just based on the recent wave inside that pattern, okay? Pretty simple traditional TA as I was taught uh, 80 years ago, right? Uh, we can see here, we can see if we do zoom out, uh, we do have a bit of a broader picture, okay? We do have this inverse parabolic curve forming, okay? I am still expecting to tap on 60K again before potentially dumping down lower or recovering, okay? But uh, what we will say here is uh, yes, there is a measure move towards the downside if we break below 52K. If we break below 52K, guys, I do expect that to be a massive support, but uh, yes, we'll be looking for a trade from about 49.2 down. And the reason why we're waiting on that trade is because uh, we do have this wick structure here, right? So we're gonna wait for this wick structure to break. Okay, so break below that point and a nice 6% trade down to about 46K. We said about 44K with the production cost line earlier. So that is really uh, roughly in line here uh, with a lot of things. Uh, one of the things being the end of this measure move, okay, which is a 43.8. Uh, also, we've got the uh, rainbow chart, linear regressional growth curve, which is on the logarithm scale you don't need to know what that means all you mean all it needs to, all you need to know what it means is uh this this line curves up over time bitcoin stays within that range and the bottom of that is currently at 31 uh, and an important line that we do oscillate around is at 44 
like 7 or 45k nearly. All right. So yeah, this is an important zone to be watching between about 44 and uh, 47k. Uh, that will be the area where I'm most likely suggesting that we bottom here. Okay. What we will say as well is we do have this trend line coming up as well. So lots of stuff here to hold us up around this 44 to 47k area. If we do head down there, we could recover from here quite easily. Anyway, uh, overall, I'd say sentiment is bearish because we are in the middle of a measure move towards the downside. But if we can close today with a wick here on this candle like so, then there is the opportunity potentially for a long backup to test uh, 60k region uh, one more time. Okay, that is the long term. Let's jump in to the midterm. Midterm right here, right now, we can see that, uh, yeah, we, we are having this measure move on multiple charts. Right, we did come up and retest this trend line. What we are saying right now is there is a potential short here. If we do lose about uh, 55.6, sorry, I'm getting a phone call. A uh, 55.6, we're looking for a 1% short down to 54.7. Okay, simple trade. We just break the low, we bang it down to the next level. These blue lines, these are liquidation levels of 10x, uh, roughly when we we're at 59k previously. So uh, these are important. They're based on open interest and volume. So uh, I would imagine them to be hit fairly soon as we do hit them pretty much every single time, right, once they are made. So uh, yeah, this is going to be something we are relying on here. If we do want to find a short, then uh, I expect these to be hit, okay? Uh, next, towards the upside, what we'll be looking for here is uh, to break above 60K. If we break above 60K, it's a fantastic sign, okay? Uh, we're looking for about 61.2 to be more precise here, and then we'll be looking for a long up uh, just inside this pattern again, or just uh, playing out the new pattern that forms in this area. Let's move it down to the degen zone. DGEN zone right here, right now. This is the absolute disgusting trade, okay? You don't want to be taking this trade. I will say this now, all right? But if you're going to push me for it, okay? If you're gambling with the 200x or doing whatever, right? And we're looking to essentially just break this high, okay? We're looking to break this high here. We're above the 15-minute volume weighted ATR, man. We want to get back towards the price action channel. And with that, then, uh, yeah, we can essentially find a 1% trade there pretty easily okay uh, this could actually happen before the video is even uploaded so apologies if that is the case but uh, besides that if we do lose a 60 minute volume weighted ATR band and you want to be trading momentum here on a crashing scenario okay uh, that's pretty much what you're looking for there which is pretty much the same as the the downward trade we're looking for right so uh, yeah just be careful with this one we'll wait for that uh, and yeah those are your DGN trades for today have a fantastic one leave a like on the video if you can and uh, yeah leave me a comment let me know what you're thinking about in this market do you think we go a lot lower do you think we recover from from here do you think this is the bottom do you think this is the top i don't know why you think that it's not the top but uh yeah have a fantastic day i'll see you very very soon cheers if we are looking at the